and Maroon. Up and down. And in the palm. And the pass. Of the thumb in your hand. Pinky. And across the knuckles. And let's take it in the middle of the hand, interlace the fingers and compress. And let go. And compress. And let go. And compress. And let go. Right, let's try something different. Just try to look straight ahead, not at your hands, and toss the ball between your hands, not looking at it. You're going to miss it occasionally. So keep your hands close together to start, and then move them out a little. I'm looking at the screen, so that's cheating. So I'm going to look up. Three, two, one. Let's drop it. Assess how our feet are feeling. And step on the ball three times, right in the middle of the foot. Moving up to the knuckle. Once across. Going across the knuckles. Roll it down the bones. And put it in the middle of the foot and wiggle the toe. And move it up to the crease and press into the ball with the toes. Release and separate the toes. Press it in one more time. Press them in. Release, go back to the middle of the ball and wiggle one more time. Roll the ball down each of the bones from the knuckle to the top of the heel. And scribble. Three, two, one, let go, reassess. And we'll go to the other foot. Press in down. Knuckle. Scooting across. Putting it in the middle and wiggling the toes. Three, two, one. And right in the crease, pressing down into the ball. Release and separate the toes. Just down into the ball again. 
center of the foot in a wiggle. And roll it down into the bone. For scribbling. Three, two, one. You get the ball out of the way, reassess. And shake that tree. Take a look at something here. Keep shaking. Have a good, good morning, Richard. Three, two, one, centering. Nice big breath. And twist the waist, swing in here. And center, breath, and shifting weight from left to right. Michael Wynn, energy grounding move. And then move the hands up and down. Let's move to the weightless side pick the heel up, up the other side. And move right into marching in place or jogging. Today we're going to do the Zach Bush for the exercises with or without weights or bottles or cans or Whatever you want to do to add a little weight or another ball. There are a lot of squats involved. So I would do squats right now. <clears throat> but you could do good mornings or wood chops, or side stamps, side jacks. Front of the place, picking it up a little bit, lots more, not at all. In state, I'm doing side jacks. In five, four, three, two, one. Fifteen. In the fingers, hands up overhead, reaching up. Standing back if you can. Come back to center and bend to one side.
And then the other. Center, come down slowly. Looks out of the chest. And coming down. That's behind the back, interlace the fingers and raise them up. And come back down and shrug. We do a lot of stuff for the shoulders just every day. Shoulder mobility because it's so important. You can roll back. I'm working on a uh, middle of the and then roll forward session uh, program that is a shoulder rehab. Just like me, you might have one shoulder that's particularly meddlesome. Hands out, rotate. And um, working on a little program we'll do from time to time to rehab the shoulders, as well as one for the hips. And I'll take the other. Another critical part of the body. Fingers, uh, one palm up, one palm down, and flip flop. Bring it up speed. And then bring one arm across the body. Press in at the elbow. Then the other. And press down. Other arm. Let's extend one arm, fingers up, and pull back. Fingers down. Blocked. Other hand. Down. Locked. And let's rotate the neck. Switch directions. Nod. And go in shoulder. Bring the head in, tuck in the chin. And then pick, back to pick it. Embrace those snap crackles and pops. Leave your chin tucked in and turn to one side. Drop the chin to the collarbone. Look up. Get back to center, chin is still tucked, turn the other way.
chin drops. Chin up. And come back to center and go into a side lunge. Oh, the other way. And come back to center and grab a stick. We're going to do the Dr. Lee exercises. So we'll get the hamstrings and calves later on. Going around the back. Go higher if you don't have a ceiling as low as mine. Reverse direction. Come to center and paddle the kayak. Reverse direction. Bring the stick in front and oscillate back and forth. Bring the stick up to the chest, flop the wrists. And go down. And up. And then bring it to the chest and put your palms up on the stick and flop the wrist. And go down. And up. Come back and stick around to the back again and take some steps, knees up, only go as high as is safe for you. We'll do 10 on each. And then rotate the hips out again. When we go as high as feels safe. Stick around front to the side. Extend the arm and swing it behind the back. Go seven times on the one side and then seven on the other. And then
And then bring the stick up in front and go up on your toes for five seconds. And down and then back on your heels for five seconds. And then roll over to the side, the fifth metatarsal. Five seconds, two, three, four, five. And then roll in. One, two, three, four, five. Once more up on the toes. Four, five, back on the heels. And down, and then use your stick will be next to a wall. Go up on your toes and walk forward three or four steps on your toes. And then if you can either turn around or walk backwards on your toes. And then try your heels. Just come up a little and have that stick ready or a wall next to you, a tabletop. And let's do it one more time on the toes. One, two, four, go back. And then the heels. Much smaller steps with those heels. Come down if you have to. And then last one, come up on your toes and take two steps to one side, come back to center, take two steps to the other, and back to center. Heels. Okay, sit down. Everybody's still with us. That's good. If you're doing uh, Zach with a weight, you might want to grab it. Five's here. Uh, again, we do a um, squat. However, you want to do your squats, you can just go down a little. You can sit down and get up. I'm going to do 12. If you do eight, that's fine. Um, then arm raise around the clock or through the middle and the press. We'll do three sets of 12, picking up speed a little bit each time, starting with the squat now. One, two, And then 12, arm raises. Around the clock. And, uh, and military press.
Well, we're all right, stop. I'm going to move the squat down a little bit. I'll give you a suggestion. Give those arms some break in between. So we will start in a few seconds with the arm race. And let's do around the clock. I'm going to go through the middle this time. And now some squats. Military press. And some nice deep invigorating breaths. One more sit to go. And we'll start with arm raises. Well, we'll go around the clock. And some squats. And seven, twelve, and finally the last one military presses. Two. Weights down, if you have them, arms down in any event. Break it out and rub those hands together, call the beating. Chin. From the two ball. Shifting the weight from one column to the other. A quarter float. And center. 
Three breaths. And open our hearts. Center and send it out. Center. Two breaths. And bring down heavenly cheek. Good out and glory up. Well, thanks, Tom. You're welcome, Hal. Don't have many people here, huh? No, it's a uh, uh, you know three day weekend, I guess, for some folks. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. You're welcome, here. Uh, we've got restorative flow yoga, otherwise known as yin yoga, to um, rest up a little bit after and restore uh, after those vigorous Zag, Zeb, Zag, Zag Bush exercises. Zag. So I'm going to start the timer. I'll meet you on the floor. In the cat position. Thank you. 
transfer Yeah, yeah. Thank you. 
Yes. Thank you, Tom. That was great. Hey, you're welcome, Hal. Have a good one. Have Thank a you. good concert tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Good weather. Look forward to hearing about it. Have a good day, Tom. Thanks. Thank you. See you. You didn't, you didn't have any helpers today. No.